السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. This is Najwa Husseini with Azad News. Save the Children says two staff missing after attack in Burma. More than 30 killed bodies burned in Burma's Kaya state. A United Kingdom-based humanitarian group says two of its Burmese staff are missing after the charred remains of more than 30 people were found following an attack that was blamed on the military. In a statement on Saturday, Save the Children said two of its staff who had been traveling home after carrying out humanitarian work were caught up in the incident in eastern Muso village and remain missing. We have confirmation that their private vehicle was attacked and burned out, the group said. Purported photos of the aftermath of the Christmas Eve massacre in Muso, just outside Hipruso Township in Kaya State where refugees were sheltering from an army offensive, spread on social media in the country fueling outrage against the military that took power in February. The accounts could not be independently verified. The photos showed the charred bodies of over 30 people in three burned-out vehicles. More than 30 people, including women and children, have been killed and their bodies burned in Burma's conflict-torn Kaya state, according to a local human rights group, media reports and a resident. Karini Human Rights Group said it found the burned bodies of internally displaced people, including elderly people, women and children, killed by the military rulers of Burma near Musil village of Hupruso town on Saturday. We strongly denounce the inhumane and brutal killing which violates human rights, the group said in a Facebook post. State media reported the Burmese military saying it had shot and killed an unspecified number of terrorists with weapons from the opposition armed forces in the village. The people were in seven vehicles and did not stop for the military, it said. Photos shared by the human rights group and local media showed the charred remains of bodies on burnt-out truck beds. The Karini National Tea's Defense Force, one of the largest of several civilian militias opposing the generals who led a February 1st coup, said the dead were not their members but civilians seeking refuge from the conflict. We were so shocked at seeing that all the dead bodies were different sizes, including children, women and old people. A commander from the group told Reuters news agency asking not to be named. A resident who asked not to be named for security reasons said he was aware of the fire on Friday night but could not go to the scene as there was ongoing shooting. I went to see this morning. I saw bodies that had been burned and also the clothes of children and women spread around, he told Reuters by phone. Burma has been in turmoil since the military overthrew the elected government of Nobel Prize laureate Aung San Suu Kyi nearly 11 months ago, claiming fraud in a November election that her party had won. This is today's news. To get more updates about Rohingya, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. Visit our website azaditvnews.com and follow our social media accounts. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.